I just got my Ledger Nano S crypto wallet delivered today and I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and walkthrough of the setup. This is actually the gold standard for hardware wallets or cold storage wallets and it's much more secure than other ways to store cryptocurrency such as keeping it on an online crypto exchange platform or keeping it in a crypto wallet that's connected to the internet. Since my crypto portfolio recently reached the five figure mark and I'm gonna throw a link up here to the video where I break down exactly what's in that but I figured it was time to get a much more secure way to store my cryptocurrency because until now, I've been keeping it on an online wallet that technically could get hacked. And this thing is basically unhackable. The only way for someone to steal cryptocurrency from one of these wallets is that they have to have the physical hardware wallet and they also have to have your passcode. So as long as that doesn't happen, there's no way for someone to access this. One piece of advice before I get into the unboxing, make sure that you order this directly from the Ledger website and not from a third party seller like on eBay. I've read some horror stories about people that ordered them from third party sellers, but they had been tampered with and long story short, those people lost all the crypto that they put into it. So make sure that doesn't happen to you and order it directly from the source. So the Ledger S comes in this box here. It looks kind of like an Apple product. It's super sleek. I'm just gonna open it up real quick. And once you get it open, you should have this, which is a USB looking thing. It's very sturdy, very well made with a metal cover. So it feels quite nice. Also in the box, you're gonna find the USB cable, a lanyard and a little keychain ring thing. Although I don't know why you would wanna carry this around on a lanyard. Along with the instructions, you're gonna find these sheets here, which are the recovery phrase sheets. This recovery phrase is the backup that is gonna allow you to recover your crypto wallet even if you lose the physical USB stick. So let's say you lost it or it got destroyed or someone stole it. If you've saved this 24 word phrase and you've kept it somewhere and no one else knows about it, then you'll be able to buy another one of these USB sticks and set up a new wallet, enter in your 24 word phrase and you'll be back in business. So when you order the product from Ledger, they're gonna send you an email with a link to download the app and that's gonna allow you to control the cryptocurrency. Okay, so once you download the app, it's gonna bring you to this screen. Agree to everything without reading it, like I always do. Choose your device, Nano S. Is it my first time? Yes. So it's gonna ask you to walk through a number of steps. It's gonna give you a basic tutorial. Then it's gonna ask you to plug in the wallet and set up a pin code and your 24 word recovery phrase, which for obvious reasons, I'm gonna skip for the purposes of this tutorial, but it's pretty simple pretty self-explanatory. So once you set up your pin code, it's gonna give you 24 randomly generated words that you're supposed to put into this little sheet here and hide it in the most secure place that you have. And it's a little bit annoying because once you have that, then you actually have to go through and manually using just these two little buttons, confirm what every single word is. So it actually takes quite a while, but in the interest of security, I understand why it's so important. And you may be able to see my 24th word here, but in any case, once you confirm all 24 words by pushing both buttons at the same time, it says these 24 words are your only backup, so make sure you don't lose them. So at this point, I think it's almost set up and ready to use. There we go. So I'm now gonna try and transfer all of my cryptocurrency onto my new crypto wallet. So the next step before you can transfer your cryptocurrency onto your new wallet is that you have to install the apps for each cryptocurrency that you wanna store on the Ledger Nano S. And as you can see, you can scroll down here. These are all of the different cryptocurrencies that are supported that you can download and install the app. And then you'll be able to transfer your crypto from wherever you have it onto your more secure offline wallet. Interestingly enough, I actually didn't realize, but there is a limit to the number of different cryptocurrencies that you can load up onto the crypto wallet. You only have a certain amount of space, 156 kilobytes for the apps that are required to support each cryptocurrency. And it doesn't limit the amount of the cryptocurrency that you could put on there, but it limits the number of cryptocurrencies. And so as you can see, if I scroll down here, these are the sizes of the apps that support that crypto. So I don't have enough space to load up all of the different cryptos that I have. So I had to choose which ones to add. Obviously, I'm gonna put Bitcoin and Ethereum because those are my two largest positions and those are the ones that I most want to keep secure. 
And then I just chose Ripple and Litecoin because they actually fit based on the amount of space that I have left. So that's actually a little bit disappointing. It would have been nice to be able to throw Cardano on there as well, along with some of the other cryptos that I have. So once you've installed all the apps that you want to include, the next step is simply to add accounts for each of those cryptocurrencies, and then you can transfer over any crypto that you want from another wallet. And it's pretty simple. Although I will say, one downside to moving crypto around really frequently is that each time you're gonna pay a fee, a mining fee or a network fee, it's called. And so for me to move my Bitcoin or my Ethereum or whatever into this new crypto wallet is actually gonna cost me a little bit of money, which is not exactly great, but it's something that I'm willing to do at this point in the interest of increased security. One last point about the security. The reason why these are so impossible to hack is that when you plug it in and access it through the app on your computer, it's gonna ask you to confirm everything with these two buttons. So that's why someone would have to have this physical key as well as the passcode that you enter to get into it in order to access your cryptocurrency. So there you have it. This little device is now storing a lot of my cryptocurrency, totally secure and totally unhackable. And I feel much more comfortable now that I have this set up. Now, one thing that I didn't realize before ordering this is that there is a limit to the number of cryptocurrencies that you can put on it because there's a space limit for the number of apps on this little stick. So if you have more than a couple cryptocurrencies, it may be a better option to get the Ledger Nano X, which is larger and can hold more of those apps, which is something that I probably should have considered before I ordered this, but there you go. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.